Formation people and keep alert. This sector's supposed to be crawling with Vakar fighters. KC, anything on the scanners? Never mind. You got five Krakow class interceptors coming in hot and heavy, Case. Look, your ejection pod hit some debris. You got hit pretty bad, but the med techs are trying to fix you up with life support and artificial senses. You just hang in there, Case, and you'll be okay. okay. Audio link is activated. Cutting in visual in three, two, one. Switch on neural interface. You got it. Casey? It's Ari. Hi. Uh... Look. Your mind has been placed in a cerebral support mechanism. It's a device that when... She's trying to say you're a brain in a box, Case. Zach, could you let me handle this, please? Look, it's kind of hard to explain. Here, why don't I let you take a look at yourself? Now, you may not look the same on the outside, but I know it's you on the inside. And we need to know if you can respond. If you can, use the virtual interface in front of you to transmit a yes.
war is over. We flame their butts at Exeter 3. The Vicar lost a third of their fleetmen. They went running with their tails between their legs straight to the Taladarans, practically begged them to negotiate a peace treaty. Of course, you know, that put us out of a job. But hey, war is hell, right? So right now you're aboard the Artemis, finest salvaging vessel in the sector. Zack and I cobbled her together from a couple of surplus Alliance transports. Yeah, not to mention the engines that we sort of uh, borrowed from an Orion-class destroyer. May not look like much from the outside, but she could tug terra firma right out of orbit. Well, we thought we'd help salvage some of the Vakar ships we helped disable in the first place. Seems only fair. The way we see it, there's a lot of valuable cargo out there just floating around, free for the taking. And we figured you'd be interested in joining us, so we liberated you from the lab. Zack hardwired your interface into the ship systems. It's good to have you back, Casey. So, uh, what do you say, guys? Let's do some hunting! Systems now. Opening probe bay doors now. Casey, I gotta ask you. What does it feel like having your eyes and ears floating around in a little ball while the rest of you is back here with us? Knock it off, Zach. I'm just asking Casey a question. <sighs> okay, Casey. Your guidance system's pretty much automatic, so you can concentrate on the job. Most other functions are up to you. Whoa, 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 whoa! Close call there, buddy. Collision avoidance seems to be working. All right, let's try your computer link, see how it works. Why don't you run uh, an ID check on this pile of junk, see if you can get the name of the ship and maybe get some idea of what the cargo might have been. OK, 
Okay, you're coming up on some cargo door controls. Right there, Case. Alright, now try using your laser torch, upper right hand switch. Should pump enough juice into the system, pop that door wide open. Be careful, Casey. Vakar have been known to booby trap their hulks. Nice job, Casey. Hmm, dark in there. Better kick in the floodlight. Whoa! God, those things are ugly. Why, Zack? I always thought you found aliens quite attractive. Hey, 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 hey. I was drunk that night, you know that. And besides, it swore to me that it was female. <laughs> Casey, stop there. Let's get a good look around this place. Got a nice souvenir. No way. It's a Vakar war medal, Zack. Belongs with their dead. May as well come on in, Casey. It's just not our day. No? Well, guess what? 
You're not only a weenie, you're outvoted. Ha! <sighs> okay, then. My sir it is. We got a nice, clear terminus. 190 million clicks off the stellar midpoint. Let's do it. <laughs> 